Hi everyone uh, in today's tutorial we will learn how to create an interactive leaflet map uh, using R studio so this is going to be the final map that we will uh, produce today so I will briefly explain what does it represent you can zoom in and yeah this is it so this map basically represents the variation in rainfall over a specified or a particular period of time across 14 different districts of the state of Kerala in India. So with this map you can interact which means you can scroll in and if you scroll into this particular observation and you keep your cursor above it, it will show the corresponding district's name and the amount of rainfall recorded uh, in that particular district over a period of time. Same goes with all other observations and if you click on that particular observation it will show a pop-up window small window showing the area of that district in kilometer square you can see so if you click on an observation it will show the area covered by that particular district and in addition you can see uh, within this map uh, the, uh, the state of Kerala, the shapefile representing the state of Kerala has been also added to highlight the state boundaries so now let's start making this so i'm just keeping this map here so that i can explain as i start with coding so first of all uh, you need to load the required libraries which are going to be tidyverse leaflet red excel geojsnio and finally leaflet leaflet extras so the libraries have been loaded and if you are not having any of these libraries then you just install it so in the first step we will be loading the rainfall data okay done in the next uh, when i if i run the next line of code it we need to load the shapefile representing the shapefile of kerala i mean representing the boundaries of the state so i'm running it and uh, it's here so these two files, the links to download these two files are provided in the description of this uh, video tutorial. You can just check it out and download it. And it is in the next step that we are going to create a palette. Uh, palette, which means you can see here we are using the palette of blues in which the darker shades of blue represent a higher amount of rainfall whereas the lighter shades represent a lower amount of rainfall you can see towards the north the rainfall is very high whereas if you look at the south southern region of Kerala the rainfall is uh, very less so here we will create a palette based on the numeric values that are within the uh, rainfall data so this column so here we are calling that particular column here and we will apply the blues palette and this will automatically generate a color palette uh, based on the uh, rainfall data we provide I'm running it and in the next step what you can do is you can uh, we are going to create the labels and store it in a variable called my text so labels are nothing but uh, what you see when you keep your cursor on these observation the district and the rainfall information so i'm going to run that as well and and then we will run <coughs> the this line of code which will create the pop-ups pop-ups as you already know if you click on an observation it will show the area covered by that particular district so this is the pop-up variable so we will run that as well so our labels and our pop-up our tags uh, have been created and it is in the next step that we will run this huge chunk of code you don't have to worry about it worry about it because if you're doing your own work you can just substitute the values with you know your own columns or whatever so basically here we are going to call the function leaflet and we will also call a uh, base map this is the base map and it is going to be caught to db voyager in our case and we can also control the opacity of that particular uh, base map layer and then we will add the shapefile of 
we are going to add the shapefile of Kerala onto the interactive map. So for that, you need to call the shapefile, which was in GeoJSON format. So we already loaded it in the beginning, this one. So we are calling it here and we are controlling the opacity and weight. Weight means the stroke width of the boundaries of the Kerala. And then we are going to add the circle markers. So circle markers are these uh, points you can see. So our data is going to be the Excel data representing the rainfall. And our lat and long, you have to specify it like this. <coughs> So if you take a look at the rainfall data, you can see longitude and latitude. You, you just specify it, just add it, just like I did. And uh, after that, you have to call the color palette we just created, which is going to be my palette. And again, you have to call the column representing the uh, rainfall amount. And the opacity you, have, you can control here. And then the label is going to be my text. We just created that variable here and the opacity you can control the stroke um, i kept it false so that there will be no stroke for our labels i mean for our circles not for labels and the radius of these uh, circle markers so the radius of these circles so if i had specified 15 or 16 these are supposed to be very large so like i I specified six so that it looks or it suits the uh, map so then we will call our pop-up text which is going to be the area of my districts and finally you can call the label options to specify the font size uh, padding and all which are not necessary you can just keep it as it is and once you are done with this section of code you can you know pipe it into the add legend function and here we will be creating the legend this is the legend here indicating the rainfall variation so i'm going to and okay the position is going to be bottom right here bottom right and finally i'm going to run this uh, chunk of code and we can uh, remove this map now because we have already created it and if you view run this rain map variable of leaflet object our map will appear so this is it we have created our interactive rainfall <coughs> map representing the uh, variation in the rainfall across 14 districts of kerala in india so this is very simple usually uh, this map you can incro incorporate into your shiny web apps so you just try it out thanks for watching